we finally get a Halo TV show and it turns out to be Doo Doo Bar. It's about a strong Wham-Man who doesn't need no Master Chief but keeps him around like a puppy. Introducing the next victim of Paramount Plus. It's Master Chief where his duty is to protect humanity and diversity. To all the longtime Spartan 117 fans out there, do you want to watch a show based off a franchise with a well-established lore, with backstory that was universally loved by the fans. Well, this ain't it, chief. Hit the like button and subscribe, baby. Now, you might ask me, Mannix, was the Halo TV show any good? The short answer is no, and the long answer is f no, because I have to remind everyone that this show is coming from a director and showrunner who had the audacity to say we didn't look at the game or read the books, the absolute hubris and stupidity to even say that this show deserves to fail. I mean, here we go. Once again, a massive film adaptation is being made by people who couldn't even be to research, or even read, or play, or watch the source material. You know, in any other universe, the first question to anyone you might hire to adapt a book or game would be, have you read or played this? Because if you can't even put forth the bare minimum worth of effort, then why the f would I trust you to even care about the job at all? This is ridiculous. How insulting when a series made from a game didn't even consider their primary audience and yes, that would be the gamers. But I'm more concerned about inclusivity which the overall majority of people don't give a f about. And plus, quick side note here, is anybody else bored of the big gruff man that has to help the little girl that's tougher than she seems? That story narrative is literally everywhere and I'm getting sick and tired of it. Because imagine having a blueprint of a deep story and lore that's already proven to be successful and widely loved, I might add. And then saying, you know what, f all that we know better let's just change a bunch of stuff the thing is if you haven't noticed is that it all boils down to ego these wacko fart sniffers think that they're above the source material and that they can just toss it away and replace it with their own inferior woke political bullshit Everything the showrunner said about their approach to the show is to cover for their desire to use the Halo platform for social commentary. It's that simple. Because the source material doesn't adhere to the message. The same reason why they changed Lord of the Rings too. Could you imagine Peter Jackson talking about Lord of the Rings and saying, we didn't look at the books. <laughs> anyway, look, I thought I smelled sh when I saw those initial trailers for the Halo TV show. And then I noticed the ratio between Master Chief and random people in the trailer. And then I was like, oh, this is about to be some bullshit. Which is actually disappointing considering the trailers for Halo 3 and Reach were some of the most wonderfully crafted trailers I have ever seen. And now we're reduced to this garbage. Now let's get to this episode. The worst thing about this episode by far is when Master Chief took off his helmet. The feeling of disappointment I had was palpable. If it was going to happen, I was expecting his helmet to be blown off or torn off or something at least more dramatic. But then he just takes it off and then decides to trust this random dork for some reason. You know, let me explain something to the f King clowns who made this. The face behind the visor never mattered. He isn't Captain America. This isn't some goofy comic book movie by taking his helmet off, especially so early for no reason at all, ruins the stoic nature of Master Chief. You know, the only parallel I can think of for this show is The Mandalorian because The Mandalorian and Master Chief are both famous for never showing their face. One of which revealed it on the final 
single episode of a season and the other revealed it on episode one. Just bravo, outstanding work. See, the Mandalorian writers understood full well the gravity of a face reveal for a masked hero and that there's a time and place for such a critical moment. And Mando isn't half the legacy character that Chief is. Just think about that for a second, how embarrassing you blew your load in episode one. Just piss poor writing, but we already knew that. And I want to make one thing clear. Steve Downs is the only voice we should be hearing as Master Chief. The fact that they ruined that is already a deal breaker for me. And also, back in 2007, the lead Halo writer Frank O'Connor said, and I quote, revealing Master Chief's face is not as important as revealing the outcome of the events of the universe that is around him. There you have it. They couldn't even stick to the most basic thing if only the brain dead. Showrunners took that on board. I personally think the best format for a live action Halo would be a Band of Brothers slash the Pacific style miniseries with each entry or chapter following a different theater of war and different characters instead of some random girl no one cares about. And there would be lots of great opportunities for dialogue between them discussing I don't know the horrors of war with the Covenant or how about the mission at hand or the bond they developed throughout and on that bombshell. Manix out.